Put your hands together for the one and the only, the living legend, Bruno San Martino. Zabisco in the back, it's a possibility. So we would like to take this moment to say how great this is that at WrestleMania 30, the what has become the biggest um, event in the industry, the just the thing that everything else is judged by, to be able to stand in a ring with a legend like you at this moment in time, and uh, I, I, I'm Having been such a big part of this, I can't wait to see the look on your face when you see this for the first time. I will point out uh, that if you, uh, when you get a chance to see this, because once we unveil this, it is going to go in the Hall of Fame exhibit here at Access. You'll be able to, to stand next to it, take a photo with it, just like the Andre the Giant statue that's over there. Uh, but if the one thing that you will notice is the attention to detail on this, uh, it, we actually use molds of Bruno's actual cauliflower ears. So when you see the statue, it's actually his ears, and it's hard to believe when you see the statue. But um, I'm gonna, we're gonna unveil this trophy, and then I'd like to, Bruno, you wanna say anything before we do it, or you just wanna do it? Okay, if I may say, if I, if I could just take this, I know there's uh, time is short here, so I'll be real quick. You know, when I retired after 25 years in the, in the ring, I thought my career, you know, I had ended and it was time to go on with the rest of my life. I accepted that because new stars come up and, and the fans go for the new stars. And I was good with that because it's where it's supposed to be. But to my surprise, I started getting invitations for some autograph sessions, appearances, and I was amazed that people actually came out and they remembered me and I appreciated that. And since then, a lot of wonderful things have happened. And where I came from in the old country, they have a monument that they honored me with. In, uh, they have a prestigious club in Pittsburgh called the Deppers Den. And they, uh, they honored me there and they also inducted me to their Hall of Fame. But let me say this to you, that I, th so I thought everything you know, could happen, did happen. About a year, two years ago, I beg your pardon, I got a call from Paul Levesque, or Triple H if you will. And uh, he talked to me about, uh, he felt that uh, I belonged into this Hall of Fame and they wanted me to come in and so forth. Anyway, we had a number of discussions, and I must tell you, he came across to me, I knew him as a superstar wrestler, but I did not know him as a person, because I, I just seen him wrestle, but I didn't know him, I never met him. And anyway, he, he uh, was so sincere, so honest, uh, so straightforward with me about everything, that I believed him 100%, and it's because of this guy, Paul Levesque, Triple H, that a lot of things happened. I came into the Hall of Fame last year. And, uh, and as big an honor as that was, not only because the Hall of Fame, which is awesome, but it happened also in Madison Square Garden, which you know I wrestled there for many, many, many years every month. And, and then to have even a guy like Arnold Schwarzenegger, the guy to present me in there. But I thought that could be it. What's gonna top that? Then all of a sudden, and I know it's gotta be, with this guy here, because of everything that he said and everything that's happened the past few years. So, Paul, I know that you, had, you must have had everything to do with this. And I can tell you that I wish I, wish I, could, I was smart enough to be able to express what's in my heart in words. But all I can say is I'm very grateful. I thank you. And I thank you all the fans for all the support for so many years.
now I know exactly where how they got this, uh, Paul. Uh, 51 years ago in Madison.